hello students yes uh, so in my previous video i had explained on uh, one of the capital market securities which is available in the prevailing indian market that is uh, preference shares now so far we have learned on what is equity shares and uh, what is a uh, preference shares uh, how it can be invested and how the generation of money uh, can be done and apart from that we have looked upon the types of preference shares also so in this video i'll be explaining on uh, two aspects one is debentures one of the you know uh, popular capital market securities and on the, on the other hand you have a uh, bonds now uh, what does debenture talk about see debentures they are basically you know a debt instrument which is used by the companies and even the governments also do it that is to issue the loan right so the loan is issued you know to corporates based on their reputation uh, which is at a fixed interest always a debt a debentures it is attached with a fixed rate of interest basically you know it is a kind of a, a deal uh, between uh, the issuer and the purchaser here it is you know companies use the debentures uh, when they need to borrow the money at a fixed rate of interest uh, it can be for you know expansion as well so there are some kinds like secure unsecured uh, registered bearer convertible non convertible first and second uh, like this you have lots of uh, you know types of debentures so what you have to understand about debenture is that see a debenture is a type of debt instrument that is not you know backed up by any kind of a collateral security and usually you know it it will have a term greater than 10 years also fine right? so debentures are they are backed only by the credit worthiness of uh, uh, the issuer or else what do i say the reputation of the issuer right so both corporations and the governments you know frequently they issue the debentures in order to raise the capital or in order to raise the funds so basically you know debenture capital it is a loan that you know an organization secures with its assets of the organization where the situation is most common for the smaller organization that cannot you know convince the lenders to issue them debt without some form of a uh, collateral because as i you know tell it uh, in my i've told it in my uh, videos previous videos that bigger the organization bigger the capital smaller the organization smaller the capital so when smaller organization they seek for you know infusing the debt of course the collateral is a very very important and you know the coming to the interest uh, aspect see an interest bearing bond you know with respect to the bond is also very important and again an interest bearing bond issued by a power company is an example of a debenture right so a debenture is a type of uh, you know uh, the debt instrument which is unsecured by the collateral since the debentures have no collateral backing Uh, but debentures, you know, they must rely upon two aspects. One is, uh, the as I said, the credit worthiness. On the other hand, uh, you have one more thing that is the reputation of the issuer. Fine. So this is basically, you know. it basically you know states that it is an acknowledgement debenture is an acknowledgement of the debt the organization has taken from the you know public uh, which is at large and they are very crucial you know for raising the long term debt uh, capital a company you know it can raise the funds through the issue of debentures but which is now attached with the fixed rate of interest on it and the debenture issued by a company you know it is an acknowledgement that the company has borrowed an amount of money from the public which it is which is going to act as a no promissory note right where it promises to repay at a future date where the debenture holders are right so therefore the creditors of the company fine so uh, to understand the concept of debentures even more well right see investors who want fixed income at a uh, lesser uh, risk they prefer this particular you know debentures then you uh, know uh, debentures they do not carry any kind of uh, you know the voting rights just like the preference of uh, shareholders whereas the financing through them doesn't you know dilute any kind of control of equity shareholders on the management as well and here the financing you know uh, through them is less costly as compared to the cost of you know the equity capital or even the uh, what's that the preference of uh, share capital as well as 
the interest payment on debentures is tax deductible and the company doesn't involve uh, you know its profits uh, in a debenture and the issue of debenture is appropriate in the situation when the sales and earnings are relatively stable only then right because when i'm talking about the debentures debenture is something that talks about the borrowed funds what a company or an individual as an investor he has borrowed it when you have borrowed it you have to pay that and along with that you will have to pay the interest as well so these these are some of the privileges that the debenture holder is going to enjoy apart from that there are certain disadvantages it can be like you know each company you know it has a certain borrowing capacity i have told you at the time of acquiring the funds utilize the funds you know what are the things you are going to keep in mind one is acquiring of funds from different you know financing mix and you it determines the nature and size of the company so obviously each company has certain borrowing capacity so with the issue of debentures the capacity of a company to further borrow funds also you know it will uh, reduce fine and debenture they put up permanent burden on the earnings of a company therefore uh, you know there is a kind of greater risk when earnings of the company you know it fluctuates or it is a volatile in nature well there are certain types of debenture we shall understand what is it the first one is you have secured and unsecured debenture see if you got to invest in uh, the debentures there are multiple types where you can diversify into that see here secured debentures you know it creates a charge on the assets of the company like it can be in form you know mortgaging the assets of the company whereas it's a kind of collateral where it, where it is securitized fine but under unsecured it is uh, it doesn't carry any charge you know the security on the assets of the company fine so the next up what you have is a registered and bearer see a registered debenture is a recorded in the register of debenture holders of the company right so a regular instrument of uh, transfer is required for their transfer in contrast with that the debenture which is a transferable by you know mere delivery is called as a bearer a debenture the third of the things between registered and bearer is going to work next up you have convertible and non convertible what is convertible talk about see convertible debentures they can be converted into equity shares the name itself tells after once the expiry period of that particular you know debenture is over then definitely you can go ahead with you know conversion of the equity on the other hand non convertible uh, which cannot be converted into uh, the equity uh shares and something you have called first and second see a debenture which is a repaid before the other debenture is known as the first debenture the second is that which is paid after the first debenture has been you know paid back that talks about the different types of debentures available fine so next up what you have is bond along with this what is a bond now see a bond is a debt security when you buy a bond you know you are lending to the issuer which may be you know a government or you have a corporation municipality right so the bond uh, market you know it it actually broadly you know describes a market place where the investors they are going to buy the debt securities that are bought to the market by either the government entity you know entities or publicly traded corporations here the companies you know it issues the bonds to raise the capital which is uh, needed to you know to you know maintain the operations and uh, grow their product lines or open any kind of you know new locations so to sum up with a bond what is it it is a high security debt instruments that which enables the entity entity means the firm the organization the enterprise to raise the funds and fulfill their uh, you know capital requirements which is uh, needed and it is a category of you know the debt where borrows away from individual investors for a specified a uh, tenure all right here what happens it includes organizations like government as i told the corporations the municipalities right here the investors they purchase the bond at a face value or principal amount right so which is returned at the end of the fixed tenure over a period of time it is maturity issuers extend you know the percentage of the principal amount as a periodical interest at a fixed or uh, you know adjustable uh, rates as such right so what you have to understand about uh, this is that a bond is a debt security and when you are going to you know buy a bond you are lending to the issuer it can be the government it can be municipality 
right so that's how and it is going to which enables a firm to raise the funds in order to fulfill its uh, the capital requirements which is uh, required by the organization right so this uh, particular video it speaks about what is debenture what are the different types of uh, debentures available that is investment you are going to make on the debentures in that you have several you know several options to choose you know out of your as i said uh, again the nature of your business uh, the size that is your capital of the business also determines on the other hand you have bonds where uh, it tells about the high security you know, debt instrument that which enables the organization you know in order to raise the funds and fulfill its capital uh, requirements